I think I'm on the bullish, bullish side, actually, and maybe a bit of a surprise for a bond manager. But when we look at the global <laughs> backdrop, I would agree with everything that's been said. The economy around the world is in expansionary territory. We've got low inflation rates. We've still got a very accommodative central bank. So it should, should be all good for the next few months. It should be all good for the next few months, but Ian, we all know that when this punch bowl is full and everybody's drinking and everybody's having a fabulous time, we end up with a massive hangover. When does the party come to an end and how much do you think rates are going to rise? I think the, the question there will be how, how long it takes for the central banks to normalise and what we're seeing at the moment is the process is going to be very slow and very measured and typically the party doesn't end until you actually get financial conditions tightened pretty dramatically and that's normally when you get to the end of the Fed, Fed's hiking cycle and as we've seen this year financial conditions have eased off very significantly so it really still looks like a good spot and it looks like that good spot couldn't continue for the foreseeable future. You know, I haven't met a single person out there, and I believe you're in this camp as well, that expects a hike at the September meeting. But at the same, at the same time, do you feel that um, Ms Yellen does need to start setting the stage by resetting market expectations about, um, about what's going to happen with interest rates? Because if there's absolutely nothing said um, of, of market import at the September meeting, maybe we're going to be in for a terrible shock later on down the line. I think, I think I'd sort of break that into maybe two parts. I think, first of all, let's get the balance sheet reduction um, out the way. We think that's going to be at the September meeting. They've pretty much flagged that. So I think it'd be a very big surprise if that didn't happen. And then we'll move on. And I think really it's going to be about the economic data and very importantly, the inflation prints over the next few months. We've got a uh, US CPI coming up on Thursday. That's going to be absolutely critical. We have had Fed speak recently saying they are, they are monitoring that. We've had five misses in a row. Um, they're a bit concerned regarding the sort of inflation trend. But if that does start to pick up, I think they do need to start trying to reprice the market. That said, if you think back to March of this year, the market was not expecting a hike from the Fed. And it was a couple of weeks beforehand when the Fed speak came out mm. and said, actually, take a notice of what we're looking to do. We are looking to normalize. So we're definitely not in the zone where they need to go now and reprice the market. We could have that in a few weeks' time. And hopefully the inflation prints favorable to the Fed and, and that will allow them to do that.